from this place to brought out in Avignon. Link, art as link. And so, dot, dot, dot. Arthur, dot, dot, dot. Lawrence. Mazar. Roger. Displaced. Also brought out. Dot, 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 dot. C'est une nécessité. Vous demandez de moi, vous êtes le régisseur. Je, je suis sous le monde de la poupée vivante. Magnifique. Je suis tellement heureux de te voir. Tu sais, I dream to meet you because I live in Russia. I come in from Saint Petersburg, and you come from America. And normally, we speak by phone, yes. and you we created the things together by phone. And now I can see you and touch you. What a disappointment, huh? <laughs> The exhibition fits in very much with what you're, you're trying to find in your life right now. A link between a time and another time, and how to put it together, and that's your art as link. But the entire exhibition is work that I've exhibited at the Yvonne Lambert Gallery. And what the exhibition has is a presentation of these works within the context of Avignon. Looks okay, you know. La gauche, gauche. L'objectif d'aujourd'hui, my goal of today, is to show the link that was between you and my family since 1969, and the quality of this link, and the quality of your work that makes my life beautiful of my family, and maybe make it known to the whole world and the planet. Laurence, do you remember? Meeting my father, Roger, and could you tell us about uh, your impression when you meet him with Daniel in 1969? The exciting thing about your father, I think what we both had in common, and what he had in common with Daniel Buren, was that we were sitting there and there was nothing to do with the society of men or anything. It was three people who worked very hard. And as long as you work very hard, you can listen to somebody else speaking about what they are doing. And you no longer have the prétence, you no longer have the problem of the society because you know every morning you wake up and you work. I think my friendship with your father was based upon the fact that we knew the difference between value and worth. But our conversation then was really more about building a culture that was closer to the aspirations of people at that moment, 1969. But remember, there were many, many other artists that Roger was involved in and, yeah, and close yeah. with. It was Solewit. Solewit, uh, Daniel Buren, yeah, uh, right. César. Uh, you make a list of, of uh, Parisian artists, and uh, he was gracious and generous and very, very involved with many, many artists. And Daniel was at the moment, and perhaps still, a very gracious person who was taking risks in his life and could understand the risks of other people. Presque mieux que les autres. 
In fact, if you want to do something that's been done, you must do it one time and a half better. But it's a fripon, fripon et demi. It's also used for the pickpocket. It's you must, to catch a thief, you have to be a thief. In order to appreciate art, you have to take the risk of thinking something that's outside of what you thought before. It's very important. How did it happen in this period that you, instead of using stone, or wood, or material? But I use stone, I use wood, I use only materials that people can have. Yeah. But you decided to use the language as your material. It's a way to tell people what you see. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Because otherwise there's no reason to have a language. A way to tell people what you see. What you see. And what you feel. No. Nobody can know what you feel. That's nobody's business. If you feel something, when you see a beautiful object or a beautiful woman or a beautiful dish or a beautiful or a work of art like a Mondrian, you want to be able to tell people how to find it. Language is a means of finding a stone. It's a means of finding a piece of wood. And once you can find a way to communicate that, and other people put them together. What they do with it has very little to do with what you feel. I'm what learning. you got from the relationship of your father and myself, what you got from the art that was made when you were not even, when you were just a little boy, mm -hmm. uh, has very little to do with you now. What it is, is it gave you things to build your own bâtiment. You built your own wall, you built your own building from it. I don't want people, when they see a work of mine, to think what I think. Mm -hmm. I want them to think what they think, not to go into what we think of as stereotype. Mm. To go completely into the fact that the objects themselves... And is it the possibility that some, yeah, some people look at your work and create something that will make it more rich? Make I should hope so, because I'm... Uh, as much as I think I'm okay, I'm just limited. The next person comes along and might be able to make something more with it. An artist tries to place things in the world that will be useful to make another configuration, mm -hmm. another way of putting things together. You, what did you write on this wall? It's Elite, tin, and... And mercury roasted till ready. C'est à partir de ce qu'on peut voir, what we can see. What you can see and what you can make of what you see. Each person's eyes are different. It's the same with color. No two people see the same color. No two people really see the same form. Mm -hmm. But the form is a general, is a universal and it links people to people. You speak of light. This is fabulous light. This is what it was all about. Art has a link because it's like uh, Laurence Weiner has a link to Roger. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's the art, the link between two people who share something. I exist because people like Roger were excited by what I did. He could still exist without me. It's nice. And this? This is the record I made in 1972 with Yvonne. We produced a record with Pierre Yvarteau, the flautist, and that's the work that was presented on the record. Was there a woman's voice? Yes, Beatrice Conrad, I was Yes, found. I met this woman. Yes. The relationship was about 
a place in the world at that time. And it wasn't about false sentimentality. No, no, no. It no, no. wasn't about anything. We knew nothing about each other's private life. A real friendship that both people, when they would see each other at a place, were happy to see each other. I find a photo with you and Roger. In yes, but that was a photo of lunch with many people. And it was en face, it was in, in front of the restaurant. And it was a beautiful day and there was a poster. And we all sat there and everybody took off their shirt but Roger, because he was the host. I think it was a very happy moment of his life. You brought him into another world? The same world, it didn't bring anybody any place. It's the same world? It's the same world. Because you proposed him, my mother says, the world or displaced or uh, dirtied. And he chose displaced. This place is when essentially something uh, occupies space in such a manner that what previously occupied it no longer is there. And not because of aggression, but because there's no place for it. How you said to Roger, look, I make a piece, and this piece I'm going to sell to you, it's a word. The, the conversation was something else. It was almost whether Roger was going to enter into the adventure that the people around us were in. Mm -hmm. And at that moment, we were trying within Paris mm -hmm. to present work that led to another direction. That was this, huh? And he joined. He, he entered in with enthusiasm. He wanted to be an artist in his way, but there was a war, there was a thing, and he could not have the knowledge to, to, to do it. But what is very beautiful, he could meet you, as you send him something, and he could paint the letter inside and paint very nicely, and it's still in a home. Yes, I know. I find it, and it is still, it's still there, and it's oh, that's beautiful. beautiful. That's for the installation. Yes. It's approximate installation of, and it shows basically how it could be installed. Yeah, and 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 there was a, a chablon that yeah. came with it, and the character that my father very carefully and very uh, nicely did in his home. Yes, and under your um, very nice letter, very <laughs> very warm and beautiful. I like this. I haven't seen this letter since uh, heaven knows when. <laughs> it's very simple. It's very straightforward. It was making it possible for him to install it. Yes, and we still have it in our home. And me, I still look at it. And I made a photo how it's become, because the, the wall was repaired. Yes. And the man, by surprise, <laughs> said, oh, I make you a little surprise to protect it. I make little thing around. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still beautiful. And it's uh, inspired my life. I have also displaced it in my home in St. Petersburg. Yes. I displaced, displaced. Yes. Uh, in the other position, the light goes on it. Yes. And displaced it in my studio. Displaced is a sculpture. Is a sculpture. Completely no. materialist sculpture. This was an exhibition in a cafe, and we make some happening when I was beginning in Russia in 2005. This exhibition is dedicated to the contemporary art. Это выставка о современном искусстве, об отношениях между Парижем и Нью-Йорком, об артистах 1968 года, Вайнер, Лоренс They understand more, and they call me as a French uh, photograph, conceptualist photograph, they call me. Oh. Because for them, art conceptual is something very natural, because they have Malevich, and for them, it's okay. It's, I mean, it's a place. It's a place. Maybe, for me, it's like um, Paris also. You know, it's like 20 years ago or 40 years ago when there was 
arrays of energy. But there is energy at all times, and uh, I don't know. I make art because it functions in the, in its, in the time as now. You know, we put the ball on the table, and suddenly I realized, oh, the ball is displaced. Okay, it's, it's, it's displaced. What? It's, it's nice. And you call you from uh, the opening. I say, oh, you look, it's a, I make the ping pong. I realize the ball being displaced. Yeah. And you said, oh, it's nice, it's a light idea. Very often, things that seem light are the things that really change the world. Yesterday you talk about the empty, your, your space, uh, half full, half empty. It's a research maybe about culture is a balance between full and empty. Yes, and, like, and, a, and it's a balance between having been brought out and it's a balance between what it displaces and what it does. I love this work, I full full empty. It's a crazy, I would like to buy it, but I think somebody uh, has it you already. You have to, you have it in your head. I have it in my heart. You know, the interesting thing about art and the interesting thing about the fact that it's supposed to have an influence on the life of people. In the moment. Yes, the at the moment of the life. And not always to be made into why and how and where. It just influences it. But I met you in uh, 2006 in New York. Yes, you did. I like to, to do things in relation to my father, so I was bringing um, a displaced... Uh, yes. Shirt. But you had invented already Link and the Art Link, and you yeah. were already dealing with Art Link because mm. you had sent me uh, things on the computer. You remember we? I show you I was doing it's now. Yes. Oh. And you, and you say no, oh, it's now, and you say yeah, do it, and you encourage me to, to create something and to go on, and you was doing the exhibition with uh, Asfar. As we I can see, yes. at this time. That's right. I was beginning to, to develop it for uh, the Whitney Museum and for MoCA. It was very beautiful to be in your studio because suddenly I realized that you could have all your exhibition in, your, in a maquette or in, a, in the space. You show me your book? Yes, one of them, yes. Oh, with what you did for your nephew, uh, with, with uh, arrows. Oh, yes, yes. And you said to me, look, oh, maybe it can oh. do something good yeah. Yeah, for you. It's useful. It's the reason that artists make things and place them in the world is for them to be used. This is magic, you know. It's, yeah. it's, uh, it was a, a nice gift. And I, I, the idea of arrows, I, I use it for my, uh, in my work. And uh, I'm very, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I make them meet like, uh, like yeah. we met. Yeah, they come like that. Yeah. With a little empty space in the middle for. <laughs> for whatever we didn't know before. What is the next step? What is the next step? I decided, it's the born of my child, let's call Laurence and ask him if he could do work for the born of my child. I said to you, my child is not born, but he's already there. And you said to me, we already have a project. Some time after, something come from you. And you made a beautiful card. Brought out. So it helped me to Go through like a father and send it postcards, sending uh, to everybody. And brought out, yeah. Yeah, it seemed to function. It's it's beautiful. It's it's magic. It's <laughs> that's a compliment. That's what the purpose of making art. Sometimes it enters into the world and it really functions.
In French, it's to be uh, mis en lumière, la traduction. Oui, oui. He was in the light. Yes, he was in the light, yes. No, the interesting thing about art and the interesting thing about the fact that it's supposed to have an influence on the life of people. How did it come to you, brought out? It became a necessity and I had to try to figure out a process, a work, a material work that had to do with you. And in fact, you were bringing yourself out. Mm -hmm. It had very little to do with Arthur. Brought out plus time inside of me, get richer and richer. And it's like something that enlightened my life. And I make some uh, happening in, uh, with balloons, with events. Yes, I know. I follow your, your website. You follow my website. Ten. Ten. Two thousand ten. Right. Do you believe in me when I was starting? I knew I believed in your intention. It's a work all about Cezanne and the idea of resolution and devolution. Devolution. Ah. And Cezanne, which is a great master that loved my father very much. I like Cezanne very much too. You have a clock. Yeah. Now, what is your clock all about? It's about Russian time, because soon Russia is going to be the top of the world. <laughs> One of the things we've been talking about about art is this. Why does there always have to be a hierarchy? No, just to see. We are living in a time that's so different. It's no longer Aristotle. It's no longer parallel. Something is like something. Something is a little bit more this, more that. What if it all happens at exactly the same time on the same place? What if it's a matter of concentricity? What if everything is in the middle of the middle of the middle of? Why does something always have to try to make something else no longer exist? Uh, my idea is to make. Uh, the contrary is that with the time, it will be more rich. For me, as art as link, as you are in a very high position. <laughs> I don't know. Where do I see that? I'm walking World. on the same same earth you're walking. Ping, <laughs> ping. It's exactly the same. I can do this. Aha. Uh -huh. This is my freedom. Your job is to present things to other people, and art is about how it relates to them. It's, it's a relation for me, for my father. My father was more important than the work himself. To buy like Papa buy was a real act. And if he you didn't, know. these people would no longer be able to exist. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. It's a completely pragmatic. If you go to a restaurant that you like the food and you don't go back, the restaurant might not be there when you go back. Thank you very much. We got quite an afternoon, huh? It's time to go. Displaced. Art as link. Brought out. From displaced to brought out. Mise en lumière.
Thank <laughs> you.